Okay, so that was very interesting, Devika, but I think I have a look into the future. Intel here is showing off what the all-in-one computer in your house could be just a few years from now, and I have with me Rohit, who's going to tell us everything this all-in-one can do. So Rohit, tell me everything you have on show today here. So here we have a portable all-in-one system, an exciting new form factor that will change the way you think about computing or a computer. So this, this device comes here with, with a uh, four to six hours battery life. You can take it anywhere in your house. It brings the family back together onto the living room. You can use it as a gaming device, as a media device. One of the top uses about this form factor is you can have uh, wirelessly, you can have video calls right from your kitchen countertop. Coming to the capabilities of the system, this, this comes with a Intel fifth generation core processor. It, it, it's around 10 pounds in weight and uh, 20 mm in thickness. This has a complete 23.6 uh, mm IPS display which gives you crystal uh, sharp images. Plus it's got dual stylus, so you can, two people can simultaneously work on this. This basically is a complete computing experience. You can uh, duplicate or mirror your display, you can extend it, you can clone it, or you can just have the display only onto the second screen, not on here. So Intel has shown off what the future of all-in-one can be in your house. But this isn't the only device that they're showcasing here today. There is a little gadget that can help you monitor your health and that's coming up next. So after that fabulous all-in-one, which could probably be the future of the computer in your house, Intel is also showing us some healthcare applications that you can have very soon in the future, I hope. And I have with me Ashwini, who is the Director of New Business Development at Intel, and he's going to give us a brief explanation of everything they're showing out here. So what is this device and what all can it do? So um, there are 100 million people in India who are either affected by diabetes and cardio or diseases. And uh, we are generally labeled as lifestyle disease capital of the world, right? So we are coming out with this reference design, which is a personal healthcare reference design. It's an end-to-end -end solution consisting of this device, mobile applications, and also the cloud backend through which uh, a patient at home can measure several things that I'm, I'll explain in a minute and can get a consultancy anywhere, anytime. So uh, the unique part of this device, uh, which is what consumer uses along with a application on a mobile phone, is that it allows you to take 12 lead ECG at the convenience of your home. And uh, you don't need to have wires. Typically, all the ECG devices have these leads that are hanging out. So you touch this device at several points in your body as instructed by the mobile application uh, and measure your 12 lead ECG. That can be looked at by a qualified doctor at a remote location and he can find out if there is any problem that required detail. Similar way in this device, another thing is it has a slot uh, for you to measure blood glucose, right? It also has a pedometer built in. So all three things in one pocketable form that you can carry along with. If you are using ECG and if you are uh, using it for blood glucose monitoring, it can run for weeks um, at, a, at a single charge, right? Uh, if you are using activity monitoring, then you'll have to do it probably on a daily basis given the fact that you are continuously measuring the activity monitoring. This product is actually already announced uh, by one of our OEMs uh, in the market uh, in India. Uh, so, so this is really not something that you need to wait on. And it's going to be available very, very short. So after getting a really bad ECG report, I think I'm going to go and have some fun in games now. I have Tirth here who's going to talk about some technologies that Intel is showing off, which is related to a camera and interacting with objects on the television. So 
Yeah, so there we have a couple of things. Uh, we have a uh, real sense camera. So this is the real sense technology that Intel has come up with. It does a lot of things. There are a lot of use cases that Intel, you know, wants to focus on. And uh, right now it comes with a camera that's been designed by Intel and made by Creative, uh, which has a depth sensing and also has an array of microphones. So it identifies your gestures, it identifies your fingers, it identifies the facial expressions, and it does emotion tracking as well. So game playing, storytelling, uh, and background segmentation all becomes much more interactive. So what are the kind of, uh, now the one application we saw here was just a game where we interact with music, right. we can raise the tempo, reduce the tempo, it uh, recognizes gestures. Are there limited gestures that it can recognize or will this be pre-programmed by a programmer? Uh, as long as the applications are concerned, uh, it all depends on what the programmer can do. But from an Intel standpoint, we give a variety of gestures. And as long as gestures are concerned, it all, you know, it's, it's about uh, the creativity of the developer. But from a software development kit standpoint, there's a wide, wide variety of you know possibilities that uh, Intel provides. Uh, can you also talk about the camera? Uh, what technology goes into the camera? Is it something like Microsoft's Connect? Uh, and how is that? Yeah, Microsoft Connect uh, is, is a different uh, device in terms of its range, its focus area. Uh, what Intel has done with this camera is we want to encourage vicinity-based interactions. So when this comes integrated as a part of the next generation Ultrabooks, you know, it's, it's about how well we can interact with the machine that we have. So we've been looking at minority report style controlling right, your computer right. ever since the movie came right. out. How close are we to seeing this on a computer in the future? When can we see this being implemented on a laptop that I buy from? Right away, right away. As soon as uh, the platform is ready, we want the developers to be, you know, very excited and develop many more, you know, uh, such applications like Minority Report or even beyond that. Uh, another question with the second demo you showed us was about the recognition of emoticons. Right. Now. Uh, that seemed to be not very uh, prepared. It's more like an alpha demo that you had. What is the purpose of having such a demo of recognizing facial emotions right. and expressions? There, there are a lot of uh, you know applications. How wonderful it would be if you are you know uh, in a classroom because these days online classrooms you know are you know picking up big time. Even in corporations, the virtual trainings are really going up. So if if you know what are the emotions of someone else you know going uh, through your training. That, that really helps. On top of it, there are a lot of you know, manless systems that are you know gaining pace these days, where you know you can just speak and place orders, or you can play, uh, you know, speak and pay your taxes. At those times, if if, if the system you know is annoying a user, it can uh, send a feedback that you know the user is not really enjoying it. So instead of really having the user to give your feedback, this this could be a great feedback mechanism as well. So what you're saying is in the future I could be able to uh, go to an ATM machine and if the interface is frustrating, the camera will recognize the that camera will recognize you know, and give the feedback to yes. the bank and stuff yes. like that. Okay. And uh, the otherwise as well, if you're really happy, it would know that you're happy.